Hey guys, Alex J from Ace5 Studios and today we are recording a tutorial about the Jiggle Deformer. Sometimes you have a little fat guy jumping and you want his stomach to wobble around and you just don't know how to do it. Well, that's what the Jiggle Deformer is for. So as you can see, it's already here. Let's delete this. So number one, we create a Jiggle Deformer. Where is it? Jiggle, 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 Jiggle. There it is. And we drag it underneath the skin object. So underneath the mesh and put it at the end of all your formers because that otherwise it you know order of operations you want the stuff at the end to jiggle you can do it on more simple objects but we're doing it for a character here now if we press play now you'll see he's all kind of wobbly and which could work as a good effect it's a nice way to add some spring to your animations but the feet go through the ground and he's not really doing what we want him to do so we want to restrict this guy's movement so let's go to select our man mesh go character and paint tool and now let's make sure this is set to add 100 and let's just paint some of his stomach in. This is what we want to jiggle. Now, you'd think you want to drag these into these map sections, but you don't, that really messes things up. What you want is you want to right click on this, Cinema 40 tags and restriction tag. And then drag this guy into here. And then you press play. And that does not work at all because it looks like it's backwards. That's not helpful at all. Do we need to tick local? Nope. So that's a bad tutorial recording. Well, let's apply all. Character, paint tool, apply all. Now he's all moving. Subtract, apply all. And he's still all jiggling. What do we not do? We have a jiggle, we have restrict, we have vertex map. We have, oh, let's call this guy jiggle, just in case. Maybe it's conflicting with another. There we go. Make sure the names, if you already have other vertex maps, that's what was messing it up. So make sure you have a separate name for this vertex map. And then, we set this back to like 62. And not jumping at all. Stiffness. Oh yeah, it's because of the vertex map. That's right, we gotta paint it on. Um, where is our mesh? Let's paint this guy on now. Um, character, paint tool, add. Let's paint on the stomach now. Subtract, don't want to paint on here. Now press play, there we go. And we have his stomach moving around. This is what we wanted, a bit extreme. So let's drag the stiffness up a bit. There you go, see, give him more drag. There you go, see, we're already getting somewhere. There's a stomach jumping up and down. So yeah, important thing to remember is naming. Always name your stuff. So let's also go to character and wait tool and let's add some on his chest there. So we have that jiggling too. See, and now he has more stuff jiggling. And you can add this wherever you want. Wherever you think there should be some jiggle, you can add it and add this bit of natural motion to your characters. Very handy dandy. So yeah, I hope that helps you with this quick tip on how to use the Jiggle Deformer. Um, maybe let's reduce the structure a little bit. There you go. It's a bit nicer. Also, don't forget you can smooth these weight maps out. Right now they're pretty rough there. But if you get out character and weight tool, I mean paint tool, you can press smooth and just like nine and then smooth this out so it's not so, you know, And now when he jumps up and down, it'll be, there you go, his whole body's kind of wiggling. So yeah, I hope that helps. Don't forget to visit my website to see more tutorials about Cinema 4D. And this five-man character that you're <coughs> looking at right now is a rig that you can purchase. Comes with a whole bunch of hats and other stuff. So check it out. Also look for discount codes. They're always floating around somewhere.